Hey guys, a new YouTube channel, Tinkering with Electronics. Check out Josh's uh, first uploads. Really cool stuff on FM alignment and more to come. Just wrapping up here, putting a uh, temporary line cord on so we can uh, bring this thing hey, Folks, you can see I've got the uh, tubes uh, back in the sockets and uh, did some tube testing. Uh, very routine there. First check for shorts, followed by emission. Everything checked good. Got that one tube out that was a GT instead of a G. So I don't have uh, matched airline tubes in here. It's a variety of different tubes that I had on hand, uh, plus what was in there. So uh, we're still in good shape as far as I can tell. Up next, uh, I got very aggressive, of course, before putting the uh, tubes in there and did some uh, cleaning just to get rid of any uh, junk that fell into the tube sockets as I was doing the uh, de-rusting plus all the 80 plus years of crud. Uh, really like these pipe cleaners here. Saturated in some uh, QD, CRC cleaner, followed by uh, deoxid. Uh, numerous applications really did the job and got the uh, tube sockets uh, back where they should be. Let me tell you a little bit about the electrical restoration here and some steps that I did and what's still pending. And then uh, we're going to try to bring this thing up on the uh, Variac here for the first time and see what happens. I had mentioned the uh, power transformer that came out of another airline radio. The uh, model number did not reference uh, back to um, the uh, parts list uh, for this radio. But uh, we're going to give it a try. You know, based on the uh, size of the uh, core, um, I bet you the uh, specs on this particular transformer are very close, if not the same, as uh, what came out of here that had the open secondary. You can see I had to extend the uh, lead lengths and I uh, got those uh, color coded accordingly. Got everything uh, tied back here, the high voltage here to the uh, rectifier 5Y3 and uh, the other connections here. I put the old uh, capacitor back on top here, but I elected just to throw uh, two terminal strips in here, mount the uh, new electrolytics um, underneath. I just didn't want to do any damage to the uh, old cardboard uh, tube that the uh, existing capacitors uh, were mounted into. But I think this uh, worked out really well. Um, here you can see I've got a couple resistors in series. I think these are a little over 3 meg, kind of an oddball value. I don't have any in stock. So um, I'll replace that uh, whenever I get the uh, correct resistors. Um, ditto for this location here. I think it was like 3.3 meg. So you can see I've got two in series here. And I had some questions. I think, uh, Ron, if you're watching and some others commented, why I put the old uh, on-off volume control back in and why not replace the old mica mold uh, capacitor. This is a, a picofarad value. I think it was around 100 picofarads or a little north of that. Um, I just don't have any uh, real high-quality mica capacitors or anything in uh, stock right now. So um, I will you know, take time to get this out. This is probably not a mica cap. It's more than likely just a paper cap with the mica mold uh, name on it. And there does appear to be some other mica uh, caps in here as well in the oscillator and antenna section that I'll leave. I think here's another mica mold that uh, would probably be worthy of getting out. But uh, we'll bring this thing up as is and see what happens. Another thing I wanted to point out that was kind of odd um, I noticed that uh, my uh, connection off this tap, off the uh, can dome, was originally tied here to the AC line input. So, you know, this uh, on-off was defective or just needed to be cleaned out. And someone had it out, but when they soldered it back in, they connected the uh, tap location here for my negative uh, voltage back to the uh, line input. So uh, that would have made for uh, fun if someone had uh, chose to bring this up without doing their uh, due diligence. So uh, not a good situation and just a uh, kind of a lesson not to plug in an old uh, antique radio or vintage radio before you kind of go through things and make certain that the uh, wiring is uh, 
you know, where it should be, at least to the best of your knowledge. You can see the uh, IFs are in as well. Uh, the cans here, everything uh, color-coded to the RMA uh, specs. Uh, tuning condenser tied back in. I uh, had to take this off to get to the antenna coil and get all these connections cleaned up and put back in. Got the uh, band switch cleaned up. Some uh, deoxid on the contact points there as well. And uh, I had mentioned, since we tested the uh, candome resistor uh, with 11 volts at this point, um, I decided to uh, leave it in the beginning because the uh, current consumption through this thing is only about one watt or less. So um, I think I'm going to just leave it in here um, for now and I may replace it down the road. Um, still got some other uh, housekeeping to do. The uh, resistor inside the uh, tube socket for the uh, green eye appears to be open. So uh, that's a problem. So the uh, green eye is uh, not going to function at this point in time. And to uh, uh, break into the uh, tube socket here and do some work on that. So we'll uh, update that soon. Um, you can't see the speaker, but it resides uh, right here behind me. I've got it plugged in here. But uh, it needs to be cleaned up really well. I spent about 20 minutes trying to get the uh, dust bunnies out and uh, did a fairly good job, but it needs a lot more uh, detail on it. So with the uh, line cord uh, placed in here, let's uh, bring this thing up on the variac and let's see what happens here. I would expect, um, since this radio works from a, uh, a very low B plus voltage of around 150 volts, I'm going to have to crank the uh, AC line input voltage, you know, almost to max to get anything to happen with this. To get the uh, rectifier where it needs to be to get us our B-plus voltage in addition to get our negative uh, grid bias uh, voltage here off the uh, can dome to the tubes. Uh, so they're in a sweet spot. Alright, I'm going to flip on the uh, Variac here. And I'll be watching uh, current as I uh, rotate through. I'm going to go uh, from ground back to our uh, B plus here. And uh, we should be, you know, somewhere around 150 volts or so. Let's uh, bring this thing up uh, slowly and see what happens here. All right, I'm about uh, 75 uh, volts or so. We'll see if this thing uh, should ramp up and then it should see a voltage uh, drop and that's what we're seeing. I'm about uh, 0.14 amps of current and about 17 uh, watts right now. Uh, by the way, I meant to mention I had already checked with all the tubes out. I uh, plugged in the unit or put a temporary jumper on and I uh, just made sure all my high voltage windings and the uh, filament heater voltages were in line and they still match the uh, condition of the transformer you know, prior to putting it in. So let's uh, crank it up a little bit more here. Okay, I'm about 107 volts. I still don't think the B plus is high enough at this point in time for the uh, radio to function. We'll leave it there just for a moment. Let me just recheck the uh, current here. I'm about uh, 0.25 amps or uh, 27 watts and um, just north of 100 volts on the AC line input. Let me uh, ramp it up a little bit more. Well, that's a good sign. You guys uh, heard that. I heard it. Made me jump. I'm about 115 volts. Uh, line input, but still only right at 120 here on the uh, rectified DC. Point two eight amps and about 32 watts. I do hear a station. That's a good sign. Let me go ahead and bring the uh, voltage up a little bit more. 
All right, I'm showing about 36 watts now, and you can see my uh, B plus here continues to, uh, well, climb a little bit, 139 or so. And I can hear a station here in the background. I've just got a wire antenna hooked up. They're always gone anyway, but anyway, you know, or some other creature. Well, that's a good sign. Now again, I haven't done an IF alignment. You guys keep in mind I did a uh, pre-alignment of the IF coils, but those were out of circuit, no loading from the... Uh, tubes themselves and uh, I would not expect the uh, IFs to still be you know centered at 465 kilocycles so we'll have to do the adjustments there uh, plus all these other adjustments as you see here here and then there's an antenna coil adjustment down here and an oscillator adjustment down here as well but the good sign is this thing uh, is playing Alright, I'm going to go ahead and continue to keep an eye here on the B plus voltage. Um, you can see it's just below what the uh, schematic itself called out at around 150 volts or so. Um, so not bad. Um, one thing I didn't mention, the original design was for two 5 uh, microfarad electrolytic caps. And the uh, first electrolytic cap, I just doubled it, I went to a 10. And then the uh, second one, you can see I went to a uh, 16. So, um, you know, maybe the uh, rectifier warms up and the radio continues to uh, play here for a little bit. I'm going to keep an eye on current and voltage and uh, make sure we're close to, uh, you know, 150. I am curious about the uh, Candom resistor measurements. Let's. Uh, Let's go over here and take a look at those and see what we have. Alright, that's real close to our uh, design of negative uh, 11. Negative 375. And negative uh, 2. So I don't have the schematic in front of me, but I think these are fairly close. So that's a good sign. Says, or any minister, but hear the word of God. He's got a good heart. He's got a future in serving. Yes, okay. I chose not to. You saved it for us, which I appreciate. Team, yeah. Team USA curling. Standing up. See? Well, we believe that God expects us to enforce biblical standards when it comes and calls him. Hot dog house. Yeah, let's go. Try a little bit of the uh, short wave band. I think it was about two megahertz to seven megahertz. See if there's anything going on out here this morning. Help us to stay in our little lullaby land, our little dream world. But if you think ignorance is bliss.